states are becoming more brazen about killing foes abroad. Some countries are finding new justifications for political murders. The murder of Hardeep Singh Nijar, a Sikh separatist activist shot in Canada in June, has caused an explosive row between Canada and India. It has also brought into sharp relief an incendiary facet of the new world disorder, assassinations. Killings of dissidents and terrorists, and political or military figures are as old as politics itself, but their incidents may be rising. Both Ukraine and Russia are hunting down each other's leadership. Beyond the war in Europe a new cohort of rising powers, including Saudi Arabia and India, are projecting force abroad and resent what they view as Western double standards on state-sponsored killings. New technologies, including advanced drones, are making it easier than ever for governments to knock off people with precision from a distance. Yet even as assassinations are becoming easier, and perhaps more frequent, the calculus over them remains as murky as ever. One only needs to look at the West's response to such killings. Russia's assassination of Alexander Litvinenko, a former KGB agent, in Britain in 2006 caused an outcry and led to sanctions. After the gruesome murder in 2018 of Jamal Khashoggi, an exiled Saudi journalist living in America, Joe Biden said Saudi Arabia should be treated as a pariah. Yet last year he fist-bumped Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi crown prince and de facto ruler, and is seeking to coax him into making peace with Israel. 